Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. It is a very warm, muggy day today. We are getting about 22 degrees, which is a little bit warmer than yesterday. Yesterday was up to 26 degrees. And we in this country are not used to temperatures like that. It's very hard to do knitting or crochet when the temperature are like that. Especially at the moment, I'm trying to do a little bit of crochet. My hands are sticky. I'm going to have to get have one of those little tubs with the talcum powder in. I'm going to have to get that out for, <laughs> or I'll not be able to do anything uh, today because as it's not as warm as yesterday, it's still too warm. But I'm going to put that down because I've had Happy Meal today. I'm going to show you. It was in a bag. This one here, oh, a lot of tea on, I've cut it off, but I don't know what it is because this lady did tell me she had something that I might want, she was going to send it, ask me if I wanted it and she'd send it to me, so I said yes. It's from another lady called Sheila, the same name as me, so I haven't looked inside but I don't know what it is, I just cut the um, the tape around it to make it easier for to do the um the video because it would probably take me ages just to open the bag and get into this so so there's a card on top you can see I can see a lot of other things as well on the top there zips <laughs> so I'm going to read the card to see what it says oh I've had a card like that before <laughs> the two little rabbits I think they are with the little pom-pom hats on And it's actually dated 17624. I think it's 177 actually. <laughs> but never mind. It says, Hello Sheila, hope you enjoy your goods. A letter will follow separately. Please take care of yourself. Love Sheila. So well, that's how I knew it was from Sheila before I even opened it because more or less from what she said she was going to send me. But We'll have a look at what's here first because there's a lot of things. I know there's actually, it's a wool winder, which she said she had that she didn't need anymore and asked me if I wanted it. And as these things don't last forever, from my own experience, I will tell you about afterwards. But there's a lot of other things here as well. Zips, that is quite a long zip, that one. There's some shorter ones. These are probably seven and a half inch ones, I think. So there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's five, five of those different coloured zips. There's an extra long one. And another one with a, got a little thing for pulling it, a ring pull on it. And it looks like nylon. This one is a nylon zip. So that's two quite long ones. And there are two. I've never seen these before. They're really fancy. Look. It's em like embroidery. Embroidery anglaise, I think you call that sort of thing. The little holes. And it has a, a ring pull there. Pull on it. These ones would have to be put, you wouldn't have to hide the zip when you put them ones on. They'd be shown on the top of the, the thing, I think. Well, there's two like that, but I've never ever seen zips like that before. They're very unusual. So that's the zips. I think that's all the zips that's there. <laughs> I'll put them down there anyway. <laughs> and <laughs> my favourite put a fudge. I get a lot of sweets from my subscribers and that's one of my favourites but I do have to ration myself because once I open the bag I can't stop eating them. <laughs> now there are some other things around. There is a box here as you can see. Oh winder it says there. But there are a lot of other things around it first so I'm going to see what material oh this has got 
Little needles and balls of wool. That's a nice, there's quite a lot of that one actually. I'm not going to open it right out, but, but you can see there what's on that. That's a knitter's, a knitter's material, that one. So that's one lot of material. Put that one down there as well. And then there's another. Oh, it's the same, another one it's got. Not exactly the same, but a similar design. Knitting needles, balls of wool with knitting needles stuck in them. I like those. I have one or two things to make for myself. I think I'll be using these ones for line the, the thing. Oh, and there's one with sheep. Now, which is the right way up? I don't know whether there is a right way up. Yes, that is. <laughs> that one's got sheep all over it. Well, you get pure wool from sheep, don't you? So that's another knitters. Hold that one up. And this one is another one and similar. Another one with sheep, but more little squares. I'll hold it up that way. It's got lots of squares with <laughs> sheep, black face sheep, grey face ones. <laughs> oh, they're like some of these piece of different pieces of material. Well, that's two bits of material with sheep on. Oh, and there's buttons in here as well. There's a bag. It's a mixture. I don't know whether it's... Oh, you can open it like that. Mixture of buttons. These are all like lemons and yellows and whites and things like... So that's one bag of buttons there. I'll throw that one back down again so it doesn't come out. Oh, there's another one in here as well. <laughs> It's like looking in Aladdin's cave in this box, you know. <laughs> There's some different shades of green. There's different shades of green. The more for um No, for doing um, like craft things, not not for buttons for putting on garments. That the very small ones, you know, you could pick some out for small ones. are like shirt buttons and things like that. So there's some lemon ones and green ones, different shades of buttons there. And I also have ribbon. <laughs> oh, that's one. It's a ribbon it's got little black dots all on it spotty ribbon there's a little one with hearts on there's a bit of ribbon with hearts on i don't know whether you can see that and get it close enough to see there These must just be little bits of ribbon that Sheila's had from things she's made and there's some orange and some yellow making bows and things like that. I'll have to work out things to do with these. They'll be for putting bands on things. and So that's what was in the box and the rest is, I think that's it. Oh, that was a little, I missed a little bag of buttons. Little... Like, I don't know that the peach or cream, like a peach, peachy, creamy colour, little small buttons. Well, the smallest little baby things. Now, well, there's definitely nothing else in that box. <laughs> we'll have a look at the wool winder now. Oh, the stuff, the stuff inside the wool winder as well. 
This is a label, labels for put on things, made with love. See, I can cut those, I can put those onto some of my garments I make. There's two packs, Winfield buttons, very small buttons for likes of what you put on shirts and little baby dresses and things like that. I think my mother used to have a lot because my mother was a dressmaker, these sort of things she had. Now I must be the wool winder in here. Oh, there's some more buttons. <laughs> I'm finding little bags of buttons all over the place. There's some little pearl buttons. I'm not sure which is the right side of these, this, this little pearl ones, but they have little spots and things on them. But I would say go and buy the, that, that is probably the right side, it's just the, what's on the other side of the button. Oh, there's some more in here, there's some little bit smaller ones. And some blue ones, fish eye buttons, some blue ones as well. So that's another three little bags of buttons. I think that's all buttons that's in here. No, there's not. There's not. Oh, there's loads in here. I'm finding them all. I'm finding all these bags of buttons before I take the, the winder out. I think that's it. <laughs> there are one, two, three, four, five little, five little white buttons in a <laughs> pile there. It's amazing what's inside this, what was inside this parcel. Oh, there's some little, they're like little glitter. Don't know that you can see them, I wasn't really close. They've got like glitter on them, like a flower shape. Oh, some lovely buttons in there, I've never seen the ones like that. And another pack of beige and white, like a mix, mixed colour. And the small little, small white ones. I think that is all of the buttons, the rest is the wool winder. That there's a piece in here, I'm sure that's off a knitting machine. That, that is a piece, because I'm sure I had a piece like that, because I used to have a knitting machine, and I'm sure that's a piece of my knitting machine that's in this box. I don't know whether Sheila realises it's in the box, but I don't, I think she said she hasn't got a knitting machine now. Oh, there's another three buttons, I found another three buttons in the bottom. And this is the best, I can pull the thing out, get it as far out as it goes and to stick. This is the same wool winder that I have, it's a royal. This is one of the best, the best ones, you know, it turns around at an angle. And you can tell, just holding it, the weight of it, it's a lot better quality than the crappy ones you buy these days. You get some, I bought a one, that's very good because this is exactly the same as the one I have, the one I use upstairs, the Royal, exactly the same, it's got the same name, the, the Royal on the, the label. I think you can get some with, um, I think they have Brother written on there because they come with the brother knitting machines and it's exactly the same they are exactly the same as the royal i think they're probably made by the same people but it's very sturdy 
and Sheila asked me if I wanted this and I already have one but I had one before the one I've got now and it didn't last very long and I use them an awful lot I'm always whining when I whine I don't go like that I go like that <laughs> whine as fast as I can so that's great, that, Sheila. I can't thank you enough for that because if my other one goes up the creek, I've got that one to fall back on now. But I'm going to show you the one that I did buy. The one that I said was utter crap. This is the one. It is very flimsy. I can't get the, the thing up there. It's very flimsy. It didn't last five minutes, as you can see. It doesn't work anymore. Now, I've had this to bits. I've tried to take it to bits. And I know that it's the cogs inside don't meet anymore. That's why this isn't turning. But I can't get it fully open without breaking it. I'd have to break this thing to get it off because of the this part here that goes under there. But I have tried... I've managed to get my fingers inside and I have now and again managed to get the cogs to come together because the cogs have moved. <laughs> I can't do that. But it doesn't matter what I do. It's no good. It's absolutely no good. And it is flimsy. Actually, this part here was broken when I got it, when it was delivered to me. You know where you can see the... There... I glued it on because I did get in touch with them and they just ignored me and I thought it's going to cost me money to send it back to them and they're not going to probably they might not even send me another one or even send this part to me they just completely ignored my email so that was why I decided to look on um, AB and I found the one exactly the same as the one that Sheila's just sent me and it was a royal and that was the one I had with my knitting machine that I sold my knitting machine and I sold that. I didn't sell it, it went with the knitting machine. I wish I'd kept it because my husband actually put a motor on it. We had an old sewn machine motor. He put the um the wool winder on a board so that the, the part, you know, that you, you work was on the uh, edge of the board. And he attached a sewing machine motor with it and I just had to put my foot, it had to be connected to the electricity, you know. And I just had to put my foot on, it was a sewing machine motor, you know how you press the, the sewing machine. That's all I did and it wound the um, the cones. We had special cones, it was a bit different to this one. It was more straight up and down and it was for cones, not, not to wind straight onto this bit. You wound it onto cones for you use on your knitting machine. But I just had to put my foot on it and it wound that whole cone up in seconds which I wish I'd kept it all those years ago but it wouldn't have been much good for like these ones you pull you can pull from the center if you want or from the outside but the ones with the cones they were built slightly different to this this bit was straight up like that but it had a um a thing that went on the side that moved up and down when you were winding it it's a little bit different to these ones, but it would have still come in handy if I'd needed it. But anyway, that one is going in the bin because I've tried always and I cannot get it to get those cogs to meet where they should. It's, you can't see them, but there is, if you can see the, the cogs inside there, they've moved somehow. And one cog thing has to meet the other for when you turn the handle for this to move around and it just won't meet. I've tried always, so that is going in the bin and it is rather flimsy compared to the um, the royal one. But after that one broke, I'll show you another one I bought. Oh, and I've just dropped that thing off there. I've just dropped, put those on the floor. This was one I bought from Timu. As you can see, it's a different one altogether. I'll open it up and show you. This one has a... That's for, you know, moving the, um, the wool up and down on the 
thing here and it has a separate thing for fastening it to a table and it would never stay still when I, I tried it but it is utter crap <laughs> it does not it just winds straight backwards and forwards it doesn't wind at an angle if this was you know like at an angle like that and it was going you know different ways like the other one would be okay but it just goes backwards and forwards and as you can see this guide here comes way past the end of that and I got used to wind so much and then the rest of the wool was just coming off the end of the, the thing I don't know whether I can bend that back so it doesn't come as far out as that because as you can see that's too far out maybe it needs to be bent somehow so it doesn't come that far out but it was utter crap, useless, and I'm glad I bought it from Timu, and I'm glad I only paid £4.99 for it, because it's another thing that probably needs to go in the bin. I'd give this away to anyone that wants it, but um, like I'm saying, it's not much use. But it's there anyway. Now, I can't remember how I had that in the box now. No, there's that. That, that was that. I had to move that down, I think. Yeah, that's it. So, that was some lovely happy mail from Sheila. Very useful, an awful lot of things. Like I'm saying, it was like opening up Aladdin's cave, opening that box. So, that's a little bit for today. So, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you all another time. So, bye for now.